Hello guys, and uh, wow, my voice, <laughs> holy shit, okay, can you see the whatever, no, okay, cool, good, good, okay, so, today, we'll be doing another acrylic kind of mixed media tutorial, I don't know if you could call this mixed media, it involves decoupaging, if that is the way to pronounce it, decoupaging. You know where you glue these things on there, yeah? <laughs> like the little piece of text. Now my texts are Dutch, so if you're not Dutch then you can't read them. Not that it's really of any importance for the piece itself. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to do this, as you might be able to see. I think you are. There used to be a painting on here, I didn't like it, so I removed it and... Well, I basically put a layer of white on top of it. And then this is going to go on top of it, so you're not going to see anything at all. Um, so yeah, but how to do this, I'm going to just do one piece and then I'll pause it and do the rest because this is really not an important nor, nor interesting process. Uh, I used this brush before for decoupaging or whatever is the way to pronounce it. So this brush is fucked up uh, now. So yeah, that that is one thing to keep in mind. Use a cheap brush that you're not attached to, pre preferably big, because you're gonna cover big surfaces with it. Um, if you, I'm I'm doing this ground layer um, of decoupaging for this one, but if you're like doing um, doing it like me on on like a surface or a table or whatever, then this is not necessary because it sticks to the. Like it, it remains in its place automatically, but if you're doing this on a uh, easel like I did yesterday, then which you didn't see because it is in the tutorial, but um, yeah, I, I did this yesterday, I found out that this was fun, so I'm doing it now too, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're doing it on an easel, then I suggest you, you really need that glue under there because it's not going to stick to the surface by itself and I am not happy about, with the way this is um, like whopping, buckling, whatever it is called uh, so I'm doing that again this does help, it doesn't solve it, it helps it does not <laughs> do in a, in like a tremendous amount of oh my god it is absolutely horrific like it, it's not working oh wait, okay well i'm gonna just put more decoupage on it let's see if that solves this <laughs> oh no it does not um okay yeah sure maybe i shouldn't have started in the middle though i'm gonna just remove this one for a second <laughs> hey guys i'm doing a tutorial but i don't know what the fuck i'm actually doing yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm starting the corner now. See if that works. Smaller pieces work better too. So if you uh, do that, that will work for you. But I'm just, I'm like so fucking impatient. So I mean, <laughs> patience is a thing you learn when doing art. It, it really is. I'm, I'm just throw this piece away. I'm gonna do smaller piece. Um, but yes, I, I think that is something that is um, related to art. Patience. Patience is quite important. Okay, so let me redo this. I'm gonna do it on this corner right here, and um, then I will pause it. And I'll actually just like that because, well, so yeah. Now that that is covered, um, let's do the smallest piece I can find, just so I can't fail. So again, take small pieces, please. Um, you don't have to do the sides, because it is nice when you paint the sides black. I think, I, that's my personal opinion, if you think you need to do the sides, then I suggest you do them. Uh, you, you, decoupage them as well. I'm not getting this in the position that I want it. 
get really angry. Okay. And so when you have it on there, you cover it with another layer of decoupage. Now it is going to warp and buckle on you a little bit, but yeah, do small pieces works way better. And this is a piece about Peter Pan, that, like Pan, the new movie thing. Yeah, this one is actually the same color as that one, so I'm not going to put it right there. Um, yeah, there you have a bit of a different color in my um, newspapers because um, mine has certain highlighted pieces which are like a light purple, purple or a light green, which I personally like because they're really vague, um, like almost. Um, What's its face? Um, oh God, words! <sighs> I just can't think of it. But it has a vintage look. It's um, pastel, like like pastel colors. I like those. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do a pattern on this one. Like just just do the vertical ones. Make sure your text is always. Like kind of um, <clears throat> it, it it's like readable, even though it's not necessary. It looks neat if you have this readable piece of text. I said I was going to do only one, and then part of the video. Obviously, I am not very good at keeping my promises. Um, but yeah, after this one, I will pause the video and um, do the rest. Um, so that the video does not take ages and it does not take a fuck ton of editing and I do not have to torture my voice. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Tough life, right? Okay. You can also um, work the paper with your brush to make sure there are not any air pockets underneath the paper. But yeah, I'll see you guys right back when I'm done. Okay, so we're back. And actually, oh, my face is in the screen, but I need my fucking paint. There we go. It is, it is underneath, like, um, underneath my desk, because I obviously have no space. I have no art studio. I have a bedroom. And it is, like, there's clutter everywhere. It is on my floor. And on my bed, and on my nightstand, which is basically a cardboard box, because, you know, I have nightstands. I fill those and <laughs> put them somewhere else, and then I fill the cardboard box. And then things go on top of the cardboard box, and there's no space for the cardboard box, but where my nightstand used to be. Um, and then next to that is a chair that is also filled with clutter, and my desk is cluttered as well. So yeah, this is the... <laughs> underneath my desk is where I keep my paints. Um, I hope I still have enough black paint. I'm assuming I do, but I don't know for sure. Okay, there we go. Anyone who's wondering what brand that is, you will not able to get this outside of basically, well, Holland. Maybe in like mm, Germany, France, something like that. Maybe, but you know. <laughs> it's a really bad brand of paint, so I don't know why I want to get it. Like, I use it when I need to cover a really large service and it does not need to be of great quality. There. Um, coverage. And actually, let me get my brush wet and put a paper towel out. So, as you can see, I flipped the canvas and the um, text is now on its side. This is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, doesn't really bother me anyway. I think it looks kind of cool. And, um,. This, I decided, <laughs> was gonna be my, um, 
a breast cancer awareness month um, themed painting, or at least my first. I don't know if I am gonna make multiple or not, but yeah. So this is for um, breast cancer awareness month. The CAC creative arts collaboration hashtag will be in it. And <laughs> I honestly do not even know what the hashtag is. I'll have to go to the Facebook page, um, but yeah, because um, the art Sherpa added me to the CAC, which I thought was wonderful. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, this painting. Um, has a pink ribbon, it's gonna be pink, um, which matches with the lips because those are also gonna be pink. And she was kind of sad, and um, her hair I kind of decided that her hair would cover her uh, chest area because, well, I don't know how to draw a woman that has no breast, and yeah. So, that is why, plus if, like, if she did have breasts, I wouldn't show it on uh, YouTube, I guess. Well, I don't know, can you get reporters for that? I don't think you can, right? Okay, there we go. So basically, uh, once you have the drawing in, which the drawing took me so much time because I first made a kissing couple and then I got added to the CAC and I was like, oh, I could make an Amazon kind of person, like, you know, the Greek myth mytholo mythological kind of women because they have one breast and they're really strong, powerful women and and then I was like, yeah, you could do that, and then I started drawing and I couldn't, and, um, so yeah. So I ended up with this, which was also quite a battle to, to draw. I'm not the greatest of, um, well, how do you call someone that only draws? Illustrator? No. Yeah, this straight is also paint. I actually got paint on this. Good, good. Good. I was like, lines, lines, ignore lines. You know what? We'll just make a shadow of that one or extend the hair. Like, you know, they say um, acrylic is very forgiving. But when you're working with this, because you need to, you, you have like these lines, so it's not true. It's not true for this painting. I'm sorry, acrylic is not that forgiving. It is very forgiving, but not forgiving enough. <laughs> or you could just work neatly, right? So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cover this in black. And then, um... I guess I'll uh, show you afterwards. Uh, also, I recommend you do two coatings of the black. I'm having trouble breathing and focusing, obviously. Look at that. So, yeah. Oh, wow. I am really handicapped. Um, It. <laughs> I'll make shadows, I promise. So yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Um, for me, it's probably gonna take like 40 minutes to do this, and you're gonna be done in like zero seconds. So yeah, see ya. Okay, so we're back, and uh, as you can see, I covered it completely in black. This covered well, I believe. Um.
if you'd like to do some like touch-ups on the edges that, that's fine what I'm gonna do instead is just erase the pencil lines that are in there although maybe <coughs> I'm gonna figure out if I want that line, but if I want this one, no, it's not too hard to put it back in. And just um, erase along the edges. It's not like you could really damage this paper a whole lot, although it did happen over here, but I guess I just didn't decoupage it as well as I like to. And, um, well, um, yeah, so the decu decoupage should be protecting it from um, like damage but it does not always do that so be careful with that um, one thing we'll be doing the hair which we'll do in paint actually but we'll be using a sharpie as well because it's way easier to get the lines for the eyes and such in with the sharpie um, Sharpies are a lot more accurate. <laughs> like here, the belly button. You can just put it in like that. Not difficult at all. Um, however, Sharpie ink is a bit bluish, which no one's gonna notice. But you know, if you're like really, really OCD, then I mean, go ahead and paint it. Honestly. It's not like it's more work or anything. Well, maybe it is because you need a bit of paint. But I mean, how much work can that be, right? Um, so, if my hair is at any point in the screen, then know that it's wet because it's raining outside and I just came home from school. And, like, why would you, like, use a towel to dry your hair, honestly? And I don't have a hair dryer or anything, so... Which is quite unfortunate, seeing as I do paint and those things really do help. I think I'll be fine with that for now. Um, what we'll need is a small detail brush. I'm going to be using this one. It's a number three, which does not solve anything. Just make sure it's small and, well, round. That's not even necessary if you think you could do better with something that's not round, then I invite you to. Um, so, excuse me if my voice is a bit like... And, uh, well, well that, that's good, good. Yeah, I think I did well there, describing my voice. Um, so, um, no, like, if, um, if it's a bit, like, uh, not so very loud, so a bit quiet, then, um, excuse me, I have been in school all day, and honestly, I don't even need an excuse, I, I, I just, I want to do these lines in, um, wow, okay, I brush me a little bit movement right there. I think it's losing the hair. Let me take that out really quickly. I know I should be washing it with soap to avoid that. Okay, I think that's better. You don't want to add too much water to this if you're using good acrylics because um, it will make it translucent and I just want to cover it um, in one go. So I need a bit of a thick layer of paint. The thick layer of paint, I do not mean a thick line, right? So. You can have a really thin line, but if it's going to cover in one go, then it's good. Uh, yeah, like that. I'm not sure if I want to put a black line around the... Um, what's its face? Um, 
Okay, this hair thing on this brush is really annoying me right now. I cannot make proper lines. Actually, I just know something. There it goes all the way down to over here. But there was a line there, so I believe that's part of the sketch I made. Um, reasons for me not to do the sketching thing is because, um, although I'm good at drawing, it takes me a really long time to draw, and, um, well, I erase a lot, and I just imagine that is so annoying to watch. If it's not, however, then, um, tell me. I'll, I'll do some kind of, um, drawing tutorial, I guess. So, just blocking in here, not blocking in, blocking in would be doing this with colours and I'm not from doing this with lines. Is it still called blocking in when you use the lines? Let me know. Because, you know, I'm not an art expert. I really am not. I have not done anything of an art education. I do not have an art teacher, but the one the school has provided me. And he's not teaching me anything, really, because <laughs> I'm doing this art at home. I don't even follow subjects um, on school, I need to do it all at home. And, uh, well, my English teacher likes to call it a slumber subject, but I don't think that's the correct name for it. However, if it is, if it is even a phenomenon, in, uh, in, um, Anglo-Saxon countries, and, um, let me know. So it basically means that I do have to do the projects or tests in the case of German, because that is also one of the subjects for me. Um, but I do not take the lessons, because I already have too many lessons and it does not fit in my schedule. Uh, reasons for me to pick so many subjects that it doesn't fit um, is because I want art to be an option, which I know it is even if you have not done any education at all, but I, I don't know, I just feel like I kind of want it, and it, so it gives me somewhat of an edge if I do want to do an art education, and I also want the um, ability to do an um, economical education, so if either one of those works, I'm going to be a very happy camper, but I prefer the art one. But I don't think my parents think the same way about that. Because in art, it's no money, apparently. Mm -hmm. It's kind of annoying to hear that all the time. People entering my room. Very good, very good. Recording. Now leave, please. I'm, I'm gonna just trim it. I know you're not supposed to do this, but... I mean... Yeah, but that was really annoying me. There we go. <laughs> Much better. I hope it is, at least. Um... Yeah, that's better. So uh, yeah, if you guys were wondering, that was my dad who entered my room. Because my parents have a tendency to do that for no apparent reason. Um, other than to check up on me. Which is, well, annoying. It really is. Like, holy shit, do you not trust that I can survive on my room alone? Oh, this is taking me such a long time and I don't know why.
Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at their very thin lines, so never. Yeah, so this is for the breast cancer awareness thing uh, from the CAC, which, I mean, uh, in one year I lost uh, three family members to breast cancer, which was, I believe, 2012, um, I think it was, yeah, I think it was 2012, which, well, as you might have guessed, that year really sucked for me. Um, but yeah, my math teacher, like, every time they had their funeral, it was during math. And we went to our math teacher and we were like, yeah, we can't come, um, our grandma died. And he was like, yeah, oh, I'm so sorry for you. And then, like, like a month later, we'd be there like, yeah, we can't come, our uncle died. Again? Oh, so sorry. And then, like, a few months later, we were like, Yeah, we can't come. Um, our other grandma died. And I, if I'm talking about we, it's me and my twin, and part of an identical twin. Um, identical twins. An identical twin. I don't know. I. Um, I have a brother that looks exactly like me and is of almost the same age. We have exactly a difference of five minutes, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so um, there you go. Now you know sh about me. I'm obviously really interesting, so you really want to know that, right? Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll wait with the hair because they don't want to fuck up and um we'll do no I don't want I don't want that line to be done in pain um so yeah I'm gonna do that in this really quickly and I hope that I do not okay this is good Ah. I'm sorry if you can hear him singing. He is now officially obsessed with the song from Pitch Perfect 2. Uh, flashlights. Um, I don't think you can hear him, but I can. And I can't tell you how annoying it is to hear someone sing, sing the same song for, like, well, I don't know, maybe a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred times. Like, honestly, he had this thing with, uh, what's his face as well. Let me well, we continue drawing <laughs> in the meantime. Um... But he had this thing with, um... I got what's it called? Uh, ba -bum -ba -bum. Um, I am literally the most stupid person I've got. I feel like the most stupid person. Um, <laughs> good. I don't know anymore. Addicted to you. Rawr. I was like, in my head, I was like, if something with a D, so I was like thinking of songs that started with a D, but it really doesn't. Um, so that was really confusing. See how this is a, a good way to cheat. <laughs> um, and let's just call it a way to cheat, which I guess it's not, but it does not, it's not an acrylic painting anymore, I guess. 
It is now officially mixed media on canvas. But I'm gonna just call it an acrylic painting because no one's gonna fucking notice. There we go. Remember that eyebrows are made up out of hairs and hairs are not always completely straight, which is why I'm actually doing this wrong, but I don't care. And um I'm doing that right person. There, did it. Now I fixed it. And now I still didn't need to do the lips and the bat thing over there. Um, which we'll be doing in pink because this ribbon thing is pink so we'll be doing the lips in pink as well since that is a possible lip colour. I do not want too much too many different colours in there. Now, if you prefer to have red lips, then I suggest you make them red. If you prefer to have this bright orange ribbon, then I suggest you make this bright orange ribbon, because it's your painting. And if I've learnt one thing from painting, is that it should always be you in a picture. Like, it should express what you feel, what you think who you are, what you think is beautiful even. Like, it does not need to have a meaning. It can just reflect what you think of as beautiful. Um, so yeah, I have my pink right here, and we'll be using... Oh, here we go. I need to back and duck for that, because honestly, I'm going to, yeah. My paint collection is underneath my desk, as you might know by now. I will be using a bit of white as well. Um, the horrible sounds that it makes. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh my god. Oh, look. He's got a pink over there. Okay. There we go, you can close it again. Good, good, good. I need some white. Oh wow. Okay. Um There we go. We'll be using the detailed brush again, because honestly, these are really, really small surfaces, and, well, I don't know, it seems like that is just better with a detailed brush. I'm going to be turning the canvas right here, because I want this to face me. She's still almost completely or completely in your screen, I don't know for sure. Um, move it here. As you can see, this is quite a bad paint, so it's not covering at all. But, um, we'll just give it a second layer, or lay it on top of that really heavily. I think we'll do two layers, it will look more neat. Okay, so what we gotta think about now is where will the highlight be? And well, most probably on top, so what we'll do is we'll take some white. We still have some pink on there. And Make some white pink. And just put it in.
There we go. Um, uh, I like that these detailed brushes are really easy to clean. Um, so, let's also do this over here. One. Took a lot of pain. So covered really well. Um, I do not know yet how we're gonna separate this. I might add some black to make sure to make like a shadow on this side. Actually, a shadow would be here. Um, yeah. So I hope you're enjoying this so far. I know the video is not taking very long for you guys, but for me, it is like the longest video ever because like, oh my god I have been working on this for like over a week now well, working on it for over a week is not true, I've been working on it for like an hour, but like <clears throat> I do it in really small steps because I have a lot to do for school and this is really annoying and it's getting in my way but, you know, school's important, please remember that, if you're still in school, it is your number one priority, make it, if it's not, make it your number one priority, because, honestly, that thing's gonna get you somewhere in life, unless, of course, you're like this st stunning person, like stunningly beautiful than uh, go do modeling shows, I guess. I have one of those people in my class, but I guess he still goes to school. Um, okay, this is really, this paint is really not working. Um, like at all. On the other hand, it's really cheap, so I'll just make it work. Mm, I like the amount of money I have to spend on this. Okay. There we go. Let's put some highlights in there. There we go. Uh, I think the bottom ones need to be blended out, but I think this one needs a bit of blending done to it. There we go. It's better. Okay, so... Um... We can start on the lips right here. That would be the most intelligent thing to do. Um, so, let's do this. I hope this is dry. That's what it is. Okay. Now, this is really tricky. I'm 
remember that lips do have structure and actually they have highlights as well. Or well at least if you want to make them look somewhat realistic, I suggest you make highlights by just leaving spaces open. It's not it is more related to the painting, I guess. Just more kind of home right now. Okay, so what I'll do is add a touch of black to make it a separate colour from what it is uh, in the top lip, the upper lip, I should say. So we'll make it a bit darker. Um, oh no, it's actually really dark. Um, <laughs> let's see if that looks good. Because I do not want to have to make black lines in here or anything. Because now I'll make it look unrealistic. I'm going for kind of realistic right now. Although the painting itself does not look realistic, so. Really, whatever. Uh, like, honestly. Whatever. At this point, whatever you want. I don't care. Um, you know what, I'm not going to leave those spaces open for, uh, I, I, I don't know, I keep changing my mind, if I leave it open, it's going to interact with the paper, if I don't leave it open, it's going to interact with that, with a little ribbon right there, so I'm doubting if I want it open or not, if I don't, then it's going to look so nice. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do something very special. We are gonna work on the shadows because you might not have guessed it, but there are shadows in this painting. They're gonna be all along here and here and here, and even in here and here and here, and here and here and here and here. And here. Mm, somewhat over here as well. There are gonna be a lot of shadows in there. Um, which might come as a surprise to you, or you study the um, what's its face really well. I forgot what it's called. Thumbnail. Okay, so I'm dragging out some of the paint. And I'm thinning it with water. Really do make it thin though. Really do make it thin. So it's gonna make it, your paints flow and translucent and, and glue nice. Uh, maybe that's not the place to put it. I'm not thinking right now. Or you could wipe it away like this though. That's nice. That's a nice thing about the shadow thing, because it's really watery, so it'll be removed easily.
Okay, so yeah, I do want it to like have this blending effect. And it like blends into the newspaper in some way. Um, I did decide that you guys can't really see the um, shadow that I'm putting on. Like, believe me, it's there. It's just not really visible for you. Um, yeah. I don't know how to fix that, but there will hiccups. Um, so yeah, there are some exciting things happening in my life. I can go, instead of like one of these uh, things in which you can visit the future university you want to go to, to look if it's like for you, I want to actually have lessons in one of the universities that I'm interested in, because well, they offer that option and it seemed like a lot of fun. So, yeah. Well, well, at least if my parents will let me, which I don't think they will since it costs money. And they'll be like, they'll be like, they'll be like ah, you can pay yourself. I'm gonna be like, ah, that's like 100 bucks. I don't have that. <laughs> and they'll be like, ah, bad luck. And then I'll be like, ah, oh, fuck you, I'm not in the wall. Yeah. And that thing has that put a tear on her, um, in her eyes and all. It'll make the painting look a little more sad, but I mean, it kind of is like a sad painting, because she has had breast cancer, right? That's her story. So, yeah. And she has had something amputated over here, but I put hair on it because I cannot make an amputated breast. I really don't know what that look like. it looks like. Which is interesting because my grandma pulled me this one right and then um, and then like she recovered so she's like a cancer survivor and then she died of lung cancer so she didn't really um, uh, well, but, but she did, but then she didn't, like, yeah, well, whatever. The people watching them, like, what is this guy even saying? I'm just trying to, it's hot and hot. And I'm like, well, oh, you've come to the wrong place because I'm teaching myself. <laughs> I really am though, because I'm quite young, I'm still going on this wonderful art journey that everyone's telling me about. Like, oh, art is so wonderful, because you can go on this art journey, and you can discover all your beautiful aspects and everything. I'm just like, oh, I'm just having fun. <laughs> Which, you know, that is the most important thing in art. I am 100% convinced that fun is the most important thing. If you're not having fun in art, you're doing something wrong, honestly. What works is not your thing, and you should probably be trying out different hobbies. Um, <laughs> right? I mean, sometimes it's just not your thing. Although art, you know, everyone can learn to do this. Um, it might take one person, uh, 15 paintings to become a master, and the other one a million. <coughs> a million is a little more realistic than 15. Um, 
even for talented people, and that is a little more realistic than 15 years. And last day is like really something, right? So, yeah. Um, okay, let's put the last bit of shade in, which will be underneath here. Let's remove some as well because that will get really dark. Um, there we go. And then we also need some shade over there and here and there and there. And well, okay. So not last bit of shade, I guess. Um, so let's take some more pigment. I like the more pigmented um, areas. The shade. Oh look, it is picking up the shade. Not as nicely as I like it to, but it is in some way picking up the shade. Yeah, you could just make them like this, right? Okay, grab it. There we go. Put it somewhere over there. Yeah, one in there. Because, you know, if you've been in here with me for the last couple of minutes, you will have known that I want that line there and yet I don't because I don't know and logics and also um, this is really really tough making these shadows and uh, you'll find one person has more feeling for it than the other because this is quite interesting that there's a certain movement to it that I can't explain. It's kind of like watercolors. It's really difficult to like explain what it does, but it does something, and you should just I don't know, kind of get used to it, I guess. Um, and dabbing in the hopes of working it, so that it looks kind of like it has sort of an. Uh, Gradating shade thing, which I know it does not right now. Um, oh my god! I can always just wipe it away if I really dislike it, but I think I'm satisfied with that. Um, okay, one more shadow before I call this done. And it'll be over here. There we go. Now I think we can call it done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um... I enjoyed the fact that you watched it, if you did, and I'll see you guys um, next time, hopefully, if you of course subscribe, I'd appreciate that, please do, and leave a like, and comment if you have anything that you like to see be improved, or, well, 
anything in general. I mean, even if you need mental support, I'm here for you, honestly. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.